Hello and welcome to what will be my final video for the Gomen Music Festival. Uh, we're gonna rank the song, you know, see uh, my favorite, and then I'm just gonna talk about a bit of everything, my experience with it, and how awesome it was. Uh, I guess first I'd like to thank everybody who really helped me enjoy this. Starting from the commenters, you know, you always gave me, uh, you know, some support, uh, looking forward to the next reaction, explaining to me uh, some of the reference I didn't get, uh, a lot of things like that, which has been uh, really enjoyable. Obviously, uh, you know, wouldn't have been possible for me to enjoy this as much, obviously, without my translators. Um, Siabata did me the Excel spreadsheet uh, with all the info about everything, which I always refer to, and it really helped remember names and uh, what team is what. That was really helpful. Also translating some of the songs, like the Bug uh, rap song, which I'm sure wasn't easy, but at least I could know more about the composer. Uh, so really, just thank you. Obviously, YCP for starting to translate the uh, Gomen Song Festival episodes. Um, if you hadn't started, you know, who knows if I would have reacted to any at all at this point. And obviously, Siabata, Katsafrid and Imp for continuing. Uh, Siabata obviously did a lot, uh, continuing and translating all that. Uh, we didn't react to all the episodes, but frankly, uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch the Gomen art of songs because so far, I feel like I've never really seen them uh, that way. I was really just used to like their joke and personality in music. So actually seeing them outside of that was a lot of fun and I feel like I appreciate them a lot more now. Uh, and I say like at last after seven, eight months now, uh, I remember all the names, I think, at last. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, yeah, and I guess thank you to all of Rocktivers and all for making such a fun event. For me, it's been the first event I really followed from them. Um, obviously there was the Isegi Idol audition, but um, I've only watched it as one, you know. Uh, so this is really the first big event. And while I wasn't really able to watch it live, um, like both because I wouldn't have understood anything and also because, uh, you know, I wanted to react to it later on and also because I didn't have the time to watch it live. But nonetheless, I feel like thanks to all of you helping me uh, appreciate it, I've really been able to enjoy it uh, as much as I could, almost as if I had watched it live. Um, and it was really great, yeah. Worked every single idol, they're really uh, doing some awesome stuff. And I'm just constantly thinking, you know, what awesome thing we'll do next. And uh, this is really a milestone in uh, the kind of content they make. So yeah, just really, uh, that was amazing. So I guess um, let's give first, like, so in this playlist, I added all the songs, even not for long, the closing song. Uh, let's just go song by song, giving like a brief, um, like recap of how much I like the song. I'm also gonna give a rating out of 10 for every song. Um, it's obviously very like, uh, it's not an objective rating, it's a, like a on personal preference, what I like, etc. Uh, but obviously there's something awesome in all the song. There's not the song I did not like. I liked all the song, I feel like. So yeah, uh, we'll go in order that I have in this playlist. Art to Love, uh, so the team, all the young team. Um, so I think this song would be um, one of my least favorites from all of them. It was fun, Jim Burgers part was very cute. But melody wise, it felt maybe a bit more generic than the others, so I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, but nonetheless, I enjoyed it. I think it's catchy. And I think, um, you know, Dr. Dopamine, Pungshin, and Sophia not being any of them, like, there's, no, there's not one uh, really senior singer in, in that team. They still did pretty amazing. So I got to respect that. And the MV is pretty, uh, pretty awesome to look at. So I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'd give it a 7, 7 out of 10. Uh, True Lover. So True Lover was either Suki Kicking Kwanmin and uh, Ong Zhu as a um, featuring, which is someone I don't really know, but you guys told me it's a very well known rapper. Um, obviously, for me, I don't really have the big hype of that. Like to me, it's someone I don't know that was a featuring. So it's not um, as cool. Uh, a lot of you told me True Lover is your favorite song, but for me, what well, I really enjoyed it, and I think there's some great singing, not only for me to suck, but Kwanmin and Yuki King, I think uh, they really ad adapted their voice for the song. Um, and I like the kind of like it came and look they go for. It's a very catchy song, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, I don't feel like it packs as much of a punch. So I think I'd give True Lover a 7 as well. Uh, then I'd say Showdown, uh, Secreto, Chunsik, and uh, Lidio uh, Kso. I always uh, like I have a problem with his name. It's hard to say for me. Uh, that was a really great song. I love the jazzy vibe. I love the energy. The directing is crazy as well as the look of everything. So this one I'd give. Um, I'd give an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's really, really fun. And this part is amazing. Uh, Secret of Singing is amazing. Uh, Chin Sink and uh, Deluxe did pretty well. So I think it's a great one as well. 
um, definitely in my top from the festival. Uh, next, we have Just Live, which I guess uh, many to edit. It's my favorite song. Uh, so I'm Jenny, I'm, uh, Kim Shin Mandu and uh, Boon Jung Man, Fit Vichan. This like just happy, high energy, uh, go lucky Japanese rock style um, just struck with me to the max. That one I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's really the most fun for me. Uh, it's a style of music that just like appeals to me to the max. I think is the best way I can put it. With a very fun MV. Vichan's part feels a bit short, but I guess all of the idols part feel a bit short, you know, in all the song. They only get 20 seconds, I think. Um, but nonetheless, Vichan's part was cool. Yeah, so Just Live is my favorite. Yeah, we can put it uh, at the top. All right. Uh, as you want, with uh, Fight Chimp, Kelly Kelly Davidson, and Fritter, as well as Gosegu. Um, oh. So, but that's it. Uh, as I was saying, um, as you want is really fun. I think uh, the energy, uh, the fact that, you know, despite expectation, I think Fight Chimp uh, has really shown himself to be an amazing singer. Maybe it's just me, but in other songs before that, I never really realized, but I think he can really sing. So that was great. Then Kelly Kelly Davidson is crazy singer. He's awesome. And Frita as well, despite with a very funny voice. Uh, I think that was a very strong singing team. Why you wouldn't I sing so on paper? It really turned out great. Uh, Go see part was awesome. So I'd give this one an eight. It's a, it's another really fun one. Yeah, Team Cesarean, top tier. Uh, Starlight, Rock Pago, Aku, and Kana Junctur, Fit, Jolulu. Um, love it, love it. I'd give it a nine. Uh, I think it's like the story really helps make me love it. And all the story, most of the songs are fun, but it's just like, it makes you feel emotion, Starlight. And, um, you know, it's also very unexpected, like Wak Pago, you didn't expect to sound so good. Um, and to be the lead vocalist, I guess. So yeah, I think Starlight is a second or third favorite for me. Yeah, definitely. And then we have a final from a Business Team, uh, Bug and uh, Dr. Yaji Fit Lil Pa. I liked Final, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, you guys know that Ladybug is the team I was rooting for, obviously there's Lil Pa. But, you know, if I'm to be honest, it's not my favorite song out of all of them. It's a really catchy song, very awesome. Lil Pa's singing performance is insane. And um, Bug's part is funny, uh, Dr. Yaji's singing is great. And Business Kim, you know, He's not the greatest singer, but I think he did a, a fine job. But just not my favorite song. And Not For Long was a good song for like yeah. ending the festival, but it's not like a favorite either, so I'd give it a seven. Yeah, I'd give it a seven. Okay, so now time to rank it. Um, so as I said, obviously Just Live is first. I think Starlight is second. Mm, I think Starlight is second, yeah. Then is where um, it gets tricky. Yeah, uh, I think some place is Showdown. Yeah, Showdown. Uh, it's actually, this is my top three. Just leave Starlight and Showdown. Okay, now it gets a bit more tricky. Mm. I think as you want, uh, and Final would be fighting for first place. Yeah, as you want and Final. Hmm. It's a bit hard to decide. I think I'll say as you want as a first place because as funny as I thought, um, Bugs part were in the song, it still kind of breaks the song a little bit. While as you want is fun all around. Uh, so yeah, I think first place as you want, fifth place final. And then between A to Love and True Lover. Uh, hmm. I think I'll put True Lover uh, first, despite not really knowing the featuring, I think that the Ilusuk, Iki King, Kwon Min combo of singing uh, really turned out amazing. And while I think Dopamine, Pung Shin and Sophia did a good job, uh, and the Jim Burger part was so cute, I still think as a song, I like True Lover more. Uh, and then I put Not For Long as the final one. It's not really a main song, so, you know. So yeah, I guess that would be my, my ranking, but I will see once again, like, uh, I liked all the songs and I have huge respect for everybody who worked on all this. So, you know, if anyone is watching uh, that made this song, don't, uh, like, don't take it the wrong way. I still like the song. Uh, just more like a ranking of, you know, personal biases and preferences and all that. So yeah, that would be my ranking. 
Uh, if you guys have a ranking, I'd like to see it. Just tell me in the comments. What's your ranking? I feel like a classic YouTuber doing that. Uh, leave a comment, tell me your ranking. Yeah, so just leave Starlight, Shutdown, as you want, Final, uh, True Lover, and Art to Lover, and Not For Long. That would be my ranking of, uh, of the songs. And, um, you know, I'm definitely going to listen to a lot of the songs again. Just leave, I've already heard like 50 times. Uh, Starlight, I've heard 10 times. Shutdown a couple of times, as you want a couple of times. Like, I genuinely like this song. I don't think they're just, you know, good song for like, um, internet people or VTuber or something like that. I think they're just great song, great song of all, you know. So yeah, that would be my ranking. So I guess that really concludes the, uh, Gourmet Music Festival and my reaction to it. So once again, just thank you to everybody for, for the support. I do have a lot to, to catch up on whatever that I've missed, uh, over the last few weeks. So expect that, uh, to come as reaction, you know, in the foreseeable future, I guess. Uh, there's quite a few songs. There's this one, Flyers. Uh, there's this one, Come and Goes. Um, I think it was some before that I missed as well. Uh, Free Tara Cook Over. Uh, this. Yeah, so there's some stuff I want to check out. So yeah, expect me to check it out. But, uh, really, very clear, the, uh, Gomen Music Festival. Very clear. Okay, that will be it. So as always, link in the description for my Twitter, Discord, Twitch, Billy Billy, Streamment, Patreon. If you want to follow or support me, Kia, Yuba, and see you guys next time for more Wax Service reaction. See you. See you soon.